Hello, I'm Mixed Mars and Mars Man, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be working on my air compressor, which is under two year warranty from SGS. The problem I've been having, it only gets up to around about three bar and it stays there. Um, I've been going to and fro with them. I don't want me to work on the machine at all, um, in any way, shape, or form. I just want me to just run a few tests, which I have been doing. And the final test, which they want me to do, is um, to drain all the air out. That's what the noise you can hear now. I've just loosened out the valve at the bottom. They want me to take the valve completely out and then run the air compressor for 10 solid minutes. Once that's been done, put the valve back in again and then see if that doesn't sort of reset the, um, the system. They say that's the reset function. So that's what we're going to try and do. So get all, get all the air out of this and then we'll test that, see if that does work. So if your air compressor is not filling up correctly, this could be the video for you. If this is the first time you're watching Mixed Mars and Mars Man, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down dirty. Let's give it air out of this air compressor and get it tested. Right, so as I say, all I'm currently doing now, I just gently remove the uh, the uh, the pressure out of here. Now, machine is uh, is all it's all plugged in, but it's not turned on. Uh, I'm just going to remove this. I've got to be very careful when removing these um, these vents at the bottom because a friend of mine, he um he did it one day. His name's Mr. Butler, and he runs a channel called Retro Restore. Now he took his out a little bit sharpish, thinking he only had about two or three PSI in there. What he did is, well, you ever heard the expression egg on the face? Well, it was more dirty water on the face. So make sure that it's turned off and then uh, just loosen the, vent, the little tiny valve at the very, very bottom, just a little tiny bit first. Get all the air out best you can. It's still reading or oh, about half a bar. And then um, once it's completely finished, then undo it a bit more, but just take your time with it. Don't rush it because there may be some air still in there. And you don't want to end up with this mucky, horrible, rusty brown water all over your face. But as you can see, there's no water coming out of mine because uh, I do mine regularly. So once all the air has been drained out, I'll come back to you in two seconds. Okay, so that is now all the air out of my machine. And I can now, uh, my compressor, I can now take the plug all the way out and put the uh, compressor back up onto its wheel, wheels. And that's all they want me to do. Now, all we want me to do now is to run this air compressor for around about 10 minutes, um, or they did, they did say 10 minutes, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to do the full 10 minutes. Run up the full 10 minutes with this, um, this out. And then after the 10 minutes, um, put that back in and see if my uh, regulator will then, will then read properly or it resets whatever reset function there is in there. If it goes over three bar, I'm laughing. If it don't, I'll be going back to him saying, I would like a new air compressor, please. And then we'll go from there. So let's test this, see if it works. If it does, I haven't got to send it back, I'm happy. But if it doesn't work, I'm going to be down, for, down on an air compressor for a little while. So let's get it done. It's all plugged in, turned on now. Yeah, lovely. So I'm going to get my old phone out. Get my old phone out. And I'm going to just record it for 10 minutes. I won't record, I'll just, just set a stopwatch for 10 minutes. Time is now half past. So we'll come back to it at uh, 22. So it's 14, it's 14, um, 14.30 now, there you go, there's a time. So we'll hit the old button and then uh, we'll come back in 10 minutes time. Okay, so now time is 14.40, exactly on the button. So that's had 10 minutes running time. It's not very hot at all, that's good. So now what they say to do is, is to tip the machine back onto its bottom. Let me just unplug, let me just unplug that first so I'll do anything, because uh, I don't want to zap myself, nothing silly. So tip it up onto its bum. Like so, and then put back in uh, the the drain drain plug. Put that back in. Now it's got a little tiny O-ring on there. So all I do is with mine, generally I just just nip it up sort of hand tight, like that. I just get a pair of um, plumber's grips, which are down here. And all I do is I just give it just a little just a nick, just a little tiny nick, just to, just to make sure it's definitely in place. I don't want to do it too tight. Just. A little nick, just to make sure that's all the way home, okay? Generally, it shouldn't be hand tight anyway. 
because um, you won't be able to undo it. So now, that's now um, been running for 10 minutes as per SGS's instruction. And then um, what I'm now hoping will happen is I can now turn it back on um, with the, the vent that's now covered and now stopped off. Uh, I've actually now filled up with air to around about 150 PSI, just over, um, over, over eight bar, somewhere in there. So it should be about nine bar, give or take, okay? That's what they're saying. So, the last time I, uh, I did it straight away, uh, it, it does cut out, because it does get, it does get quite warm, because it, it shouldn't really take 10 minutes for this to fill up. So, what I'll do is, um, I'll uh, run it now up to around about three bar, which is where it's been getting uh, fully, sort of fully um, filled without going any further. And hopefully I'll, I'll come back and see if it goes any higher than that, but we should see. So let me turn it on and I'll come back to you in three minutes, which is how long it takes to get to roughly three bar. Okay, so that actually is performing worse than what it was before. That was running for three and a half minutes um, and it's only got to uh, one bar PSI, that's it. It's got to no more than that. Um, it used to get up to three bar, that was before I did the test, um, but now it's even worse. So I'm gonna hook up my air compressor, my, my air hose. I'll see if I actually, it will drop a little tiny bit because I've got quite a big air hose there, but last time I did, all the air went completely. So that's dropped a little tiny bit. We've got a bit of air in. There's a bit of air in there. What I'm gonna do just for argument's sake, I'm gonna run the air back out again, okay? My, my regulator is, is done all the way up, so it, it, it should be maximum towards the, towards the plus sign. So I'm gonna go another three to, three to five minutes, and it should, it should get to about three, PS, or three bar. That's where it was getting to. It's now not even climbing to that, it's even worse. So it's either a regulator issue, because there's a little bit of air in there, but there's not a, there's not a lot of pressure. Um, which tells me there's not, there's not actually that much air in there. So I haven't got an air leak because I have tested the bottom with um, soapy water test. There's no air escaping from the bottom and there's no air escaping from the top here. So I don't know what's up with it. It could be a regulator issue, but uh, it's just it just doesn't seem to be sucking the air, uh, uh, pressure, you know, sort of compacting the air in like it should do. So I'll go another three minutes because um, it should be about, about a bar a minute, give or take. And my mate Pete, he's got pretty much the same air compressor as me and um, when he starts his up to fully air compressed, which is um, 150 PSI, it takes him around about four and a half minutes to actually fill right up with air. So it's roughly the same machine, not saying it's exactly the same, but it's roughly the same machine. Um, but mine is taking three minutes just to get up to, to one, and a half, one and a half bar now. So let me go again, I'll come back to you in three minutes time. So just to make it fair, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my phone here and I'm just gonna set the stopwatch on. And we'll go, we'll go four minutes, shall we? And I'll come back to you in four minutes time. So turn that on, turn this on, and turn you guys off. Okay, so as you can see, let me just pause that. Uh, four minutes, 13 seconds, um, and it's still only one and a half bar. Um, it, at around about one minute 20, that's when it reaches one and a half bar, um, and, it, and it's been another sort of couple of minutes over top of that, and it's still not going above that. So I don't think it's actually a regulator problem. I think there's something else going along with that. Maybe it's got a, a leak, I, I don't know, but it's not leaking from anywhere inside the unit at all. For sort of, I have checked all my seals and, and they're, they're all good. So um, I'll go back to SGS and um, I'll let you know how I get on. So um, yeah, we'll go from there. So there you go, um, a quick video on my SGS 150 litre air compressor from, from SGS. As I say, I can't knock SGS at all because their customer service has been good, okay? Uh, they have um, kept up to date with me, kept me um, all the tips and tricks, what they think is up with it. And uh, I've had to send just one or two videos of what it's actually doing. A few little home tests and then just feed it back. And they have been coming back to me ne nearly every other day to say, yeah, okay, try this now, now try this now. And they have two or three tests you have to do before they either pick it up or exchange items. So I'll go back to SGS now, let you know how I'm getting on with that. And, and either they're gonna give me another air compressor or take this one back and repair it because it came with a two year warranty. So that's the advantages of uh, buying a brand new bit of kit is that it comes with a two year warranty. So therefore I don't have to touch it. If it goes wrong, they'll, they'll fix it or replace it. So I'm super happy. You'll get an update very, very soon on what happens with my air compressor and I'll keep you up to date. So there you go. If that's a video of Mixed Mose and Mer Man, hopefully that would fix your air compressor issue. It did not fix mine, but um, unless you try it, you don't know. So. 
We shall see. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, then hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way, you'll be told next time I upload another video. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mods very, very soon. But until then, guys and girls, much more importantly, take care easy.